Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another Footies Friday is in the books and not without SBC fodder exploding on the market because of content yesterday. It was a really crazy day yesterday with all of the SBC content that was released, including that 90 plus times seven that we thought might drop and it did end up happening to be released in the game. So I want to talk about that and how fodder is exploding, but also take a look at the objective tab where EA has released us this week's cup mode that does not limit the number of matches that you can play every single day. Some people have already finished the Syria Cup with some help of Golden Goal in the friendly mode. So I want to take a look at that and of course cover the market because a lot of Syria cards moved yesterday and a lot of prices moved upwards. But with the three club max um, you know, restriction being placed in that friendly mode. It made for some interesting movements on other Serie A cards. But I also want to take a look at today's content on Saturday. The 90 plus times 7 is getting refreshed. And we might have another overpowered striker being released as a footies favorite SBC. We'll take a look at the current leaks that we have as well in today's video. So if you're excited for the video today, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's start off by just looking at all the craziness that happened yesterday. I think it's good to break it down because these, especially in this time of the year, it's just a great opportunity to learn. And when you learn what happens based off of what EA drops content wise, when you kind of connect the dots and say, okay, Nate, this makes sense why EA dropped this and this happened afterwards, it can be a really, really good learning experience kind of towards the end of the year when, you know, coins and fodder and just the game itself matters just a little bit less because it's not as serious. Like it's not prime time FIFA when coins really matter, when everybody is, you know, starting the game off and it's super stressful, nothing like that. It's summertime. It's easy. It's fun. The content's flowing and it's great. So let's learn from something today, right? The 90 plus footies times seven upgrade dropped yesterday. Now with this, with the 85 times 10, with a brand new player SBC, insane player SBC, I might add, with Borella, which I believe, if I heard correctly, he has the most in-game stats, I believe, out of any single card in the game. Five-star, five-star, high, high work rates, incredible card. The only problem is, I guess, uh, the links. I mean, he is Italian. He does have really good links, but it's a bit difficult for the Serie A Cup mode because you then have to find other Inter Milan players to link him to, and there's not as many as Juve, as Milan, um, and even like Napoli have a lot of great special cards in this game, and you can only use three clubs. So, but that point aside, if you want to put this guy in your main team, he is absolutely worthy of that designation with an insane SBC yesterday. But that's the that's the key, right? All of the insane content in SBCs yesterday just created a whole bunch of demand for SBC fodder. And I am so glad that we talked about buying fodder yesterday before the content dropped because it was basically at that time yesterday when everything started to explode. Where's our boy, T boy Timo Werner? We've been looking at this guy just to kind of measure the prices on the market. Werner was 6K on Thursday, dropped down bad on Friday, Thursday night, Friday morning, 5,000 coins for 84s. That was the sweet spot. Basically, if you bought 84s, and fodder before content yesterday, they exploded. Werner going all the way up to 7,000 coins. He's still right around that middle to high 6K range where a lot of the 84s are. That was the big movement yesterday. These 84s absolutely exploded because of that 85 times 10 being re-released and just all the other SBC content that we had. And there was no supply. You had all of this demand, right? And you had little supply. EA actually did not run any to my knowledge, I have not seen any yet. Now, I haven't watched the market every single hour in here, but I do not believe they have run any lightning rounds on this game since, you know, the, the on since yesterday at 6 p.m. UK time. Usually they, do, they run Friday lightning rounds. I don't believe they did a single thing to supply fodder, and that helped fodder prices go even higher. But again, like I mentioned, it was all the SBC demand that was the catalyst, right? You have to have that demand and lack of supply to have a kind of the situation and uh, equation that you had yesterday with all these fodder cards going up. Now, let's talk about this content a little bit because you might be like, Nate, the 90 plus footies is super expensive. The Serie A campaign bag is just not that great. So why was there a lot of fodder going up? Well, the 85 times 10 and the 86 plus both refreshed and everybody does the 85 times 10 when it refreshes, right? You, you just do that SBC. It's great value. A lot of people still did the 90 plus times seven and inside this SBC, you have some high rated squads, but you also have some lower rated ones. 85 rated squad in there is, you know, 
a lot of people are turning in 84s into that. Syria campaign player pick. Again, like I said, it's not that in insane. You can see the upvote, downvote scenario here. Not a lot of people are excited about it, but I'm sure people are still out and doing that SBC yesterday. And then, of course, Barella only being 180,000 coins. He has a couple of the lower tier squad requirements in his, his SBC as well. And that has got the fodder going up in price. And again, like I mentioned, no supply stuff is going up. So GG's if you bought fodder, I would have loved to be like, yo guys, now is a great time to buy fodder again, but I just can't like 6,000 coins for these cards. I mean, technically you, you might have to club stock a few of these. That's kind of my suggestion would be, I'm not expecting a whole lot of supply on these cards, you know, today, tomorrow. So if you need to club stock any cards, we're going to continue to get more player picks, more good SBCs. The past couple weeks on Saturdays, we've gotten a pretty good player pick SBC here and there. And we're going to have the 90 plus again today, tomorrow on Sunday, the 85 times 10 is going to refresh again, I believe. I'll double check that in a second. But if you're, if you need fodder, it might still be time to go out and just buy one for the club, right? Buy enough fodder for your club so that you have the ability to go and do these SBCs when they get released later on in the next day or two, just because again, like I was mentioning, there is no supply and it's all demand on this game right now. Now let's talk Saturday content for just a little bit since we've kind of opened up the topic. The 90 plus times seven, which this is a very fun SBC. Here's my opinion. I would not touch this if you don't have a lot of coins. It's going to come back today on Saturday. It might be repeatable every 24 hours, which would be insane. This is a really, really fun pack. Try to pack the really high tier cards, you know, at 90 plus, right? But it is specific to batch number two. If you're doing this SBC, make sure uh, that you know you cannot save this pack. It does not change the stuff that is in it. It is batch two cards only. Batch two goes out of packs next Friday. So that's a big SBC that I think will still drain a lot of fodder on the game today but hopefully what comes back today is the 82 plus player pick and that would be a huge help in being able to craft that sbc a lot cheaper and here's why it would be a huge help if you take a look at gold rares on the market right now they have returned to the promised land of discard value so 82 plus player picks were released last saturday i really hope they released today as well one of my best recommendations for you right now especially with the lack of supply is go and buy a bunch of gold rares whether it's for an investment whether it is for just you know you want to do a bunch of upgrade packs last week all gold rares were 1.2k so they basically doubled in price from where you can get them on a minimum bid at 650 coins whether it's an investment or you want to go do player picks starting today i think that is a great thing to do again we're assuming that ea would drop that 82 plus player pick again we hope that they would do so and maybe even the 75 times five i could see both of those coming back today those would be some of the biggest pieces of new content we would be looking for to be released today on a Saturday. Now, also speaking of Saturday today, we do have a leaked SBC, which I think is coming out today. And I think this is the guy right here. Jonathan David has been leaked to be our next footies favorite for January SBC. And I believe we get back to back days of footies favorites. Um, and especially after we had the, the Sal Musa Sal or not Musa Sal. What's his first name again? I'm, I'm completely blanking on this. Is it? It's not Musa. Jabril Sal. Where did I get Musa from? I don't know. Jabril Sal we had not yesterday. We had two days ago. I think today is going to be the Jonathan David release day. This would be a card a lot of people would be interested in doing. And I think you might want to get some fodder for him. But I think his SBC is going to be dropped today alongside of that re-release of stuff. I'm not really sure if we're going to get another player pick SBC today since there's so many that are out in the game. If they're going to make that 90 plus times seven, like refresh every single day, I, I just think that, you know, I don't know how many other player pick SBCs they can they can handle or, or they can drop on this game just because it almost seems like too much if you think about it. Now, also today on Saturday, another SBC is refreshing. That is the Foot Hero, Shapeshifter, and Captain's player pick SBC. There's just all the demand in the world for SBC fodder. That's why, in my opinion, even though fodder prices are so up, if you need fodder to do any of these SBCs, I would just go out and probably buy some of the cards at the inflated prices because they're just going to go higher because there's no, no supply in sight and all demand. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for Saturday content. Jonathan David, the, all, the refreshes of all those SBCs, and hopefully player picks and the 75 times five. So watch out for your silver rares as well. 
And those could go back up in price if we get the 75 times five, not guaranteeing that it would be out. I feel like the 82 plus guarantee or player pick is the highest guaranteed. But that's what I'm thinking for today's content on Saturday. And I wanted to get that out in the video as soon as possible and talk about it because um, I really do think that buying gold rares here at like 650, 700 coins is a no brainer. doesn't matter what league, doesn't matter. They're going to all go up later on in the week as people will do player picks because they were good last week. They'll be good this week and people will need fodder for SBC. So make sure you go out and stock some of those, your transfer list in your club, unassigned, whatever it may be. I think that is a W. Now, let's move on and look back at yesterday a little bit more about this Syria Cup mode. You might be like, Nate, is this thing glitched? I honestly don't think that it is glitched. I think EA kind of know what they're doing here. But again, I have a little bit of, I have some worries about this. If I'm being completely honest, since they didn't put a max number of games per day on this footy Syria Cup mode, I feel like people are going to get this done super fast. Of course, last week and even two weeks ago, we were not able to complete those cup modes for the first two weeks of footies right away because they had a specific number of games we could play each day and we would log on to FIFA every day and play those games. Now for this week, so many people are going to get the Serie A Cup done, you know, in the next two, three days. And as we get to like Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday of this next week, I feel like, and this is just me looking ahead and forecasting this maybe a little bit, it might start to get a bit dead and the content would seemingly dry up if this piece of objectives is kind of gone and you've already completed it. What is uh, What other content is drawing you back in? Just the SBCs, right? The cards and packs are not brand new. There's nothing really fresh and hype there. I just feel like that this week might get a little bit lackluster feeling by the end because of this, especially being something that we had the last two weeks consistently every day. And this is kind of pulling away and we're going to get it done quicker, right? Yesterday, I probably spent an hour, maybe hour and a half playing these games. A lot of people are playing golden goal. I got 11 out of 14. I probably rage quit and lost about 11 games as well, but it doesn't even matter, right? It's all about getting the 27 wins. And with the help of golden goal, a lot of people out there are playing it. Um, it's pretty easy to get done. Now, the only problem with it is you can only use three clubs. And I will tell you this, you can have any cards you want on the bench. You can see I've got Premier League cards. I've got everything here on the bench. But my main squad is made up of three different clubs. I've got Piemonte Calcio, aka Juve. I've got Milan. And then the Foot Heroes count as their own club. So I have got Gomez. I have got Cordoba. Um, and, and then, yeah, that's it. So you know, that's the kind of thing that's a bit tricky about this. I was really hoping and looking forward to using like Insigne or maybe Lozano in this team, or maybe, you know, even uh, tr just buying uh, Franck Ribéry and trying Ribéry out, or maybe some of my other Serie A cards. But unfortunately, I can't, uh, you know, use a Felipe Anderson or use Delofeu. I couldn't even use Barella in this team unless I, um, you know, put in Skriniar and, and put in Darmian and then dropped you know, like Gomez and Cordoba or something like that, because I just don't have enough Inter Milan players to put into the team. That's the only downside to this, but I think I would take that downside and rather have the upside of being able to play a unlimited number of games per day. That is very nice to get the objective done quick and to get those packs and player picks opened, which is helpful for getting fodder sooner rather than later. So I don't think it's glitched. I don't think it was a mistake by EA. I think they meant to do it. Now, do I know why? Not really, but that's just my opinion on that Serie A Cup. And I think a lot of people are happy with it because they're getting it done pretty fast. Now, also yesterday, and I feel like this was almost like swept under the rug or just kind of flew under the radar because there was more hype with the objectives and with the SBCs. We have the new summer swaps too dropped in the game and just look at that Ben Yedder. like that is crazy there's no card in concepts right now but we did learn some very valuable information about summer swaps too it's 50 tokens as it was leaked and the tokens are obtainable now there have been two tokens that have been released just two that is it just two tokens have been released so far if I can find the tweets right here we have one that is free that was given out and one is in the core net objective. It's very easy to do. Make sure you can go and get that one done on the quest to getting however many tokens you need. Now, the only difference when EA tweeted out the rewards for Summer Swaps 2, there was one difference from the leak that we originally saw. And it's a pretty big difference because it relates to a fodder pack. The 85 times 20 is the exact same as Summer Swaps 1. It is five tokens. It is not seven as it was leaked. So... It does cost two tokens less than what we were planning on 
to do the 85 times 20, which is nice. So make sure you kind of calculate that out and maybe you can afford something more. There's really not a good web page to go and look up this stuff. I even looked on the QR code. I scanned the QR code that they have here on the menus and it just takes you to the footies website, which literally says nothing about summer swaps too. So that's a bit unfortunate, um, but it's the same rewards that were leaked. All, the only change is, is that the seven token 8520 is only five tokens, which is a dub. So start getting those tokens. We will not be able to see the rewards until August 12th under the swaps section here. It'll be until August 12th when we can turn in those tokens. That will be the start of the second week of batch three. Just kind of put that in your mind. Batch three comes out this next Friday after batch two leaves packs. And then the second week of batch three will be when the summer swaps two rewards are finally available. So just kind of start thinking about that and the order you might proceed with attaining these swap cards, but that is there. And, you know, I mean, it is nice to start grinding these. I think that's going to keep people coming back to the game this week. And that's going to keep us all engaged a little bit is to just try to find out, okay, where are these tokens? I got to keep claiming them, got to keep attaining them. That might be how EA is trying to get people to come back to the game every single day this week as well. Now, speaking of that Syria cut bow, let's talk a little bit more about the market because there were a ton of movements yesterday with the 90 plus times seven, which we talked about in yesterday's video. If that SBC was going to drop, we knew that it was going to be pretty expensive and B, we knew that it was going to drop some prices on the market because of just the fact that people would have to sell a lot of cards to go and do the SBC. And that is exactly what happened. I bought a bunch of Rafael Leal, Teo Hernandez, basically a bunch of Serie A cards, right? I actually, I loaded up on a bunch of Quadrados at like 50 to 55,000 coins. Teo Hernandez at about 300K, Rafael Leal at about 300K as well. All of these cards exploded after the 6 p.m. content drop because people were going out and building squads for the Serie A Cup. And that is exactly what we talked about yesterday. And that is exactly what happened, right? You see 310, boom, all the way to 370 for Teo Hernandez. One of the biggest risers yesterday, I think was this Dybala card. Dybala went from 500. He was panic sold, right? He went from 600K down to like 550. He was even like 530 at one point. He peaked all the way up at 700,000 coins on both consoles. He's now back down a little bit as people are going out and doing that objective game mode. People are buying the Serie A cards like crazy. And a lot of these prices are up, except for, like we talked about again, those midfielders. And this is, I was not a huge fan of Spinazzola investing in him. And I'm glad that I stayed away because he went from 118K all the way down to 63K. Just because I think it's a little bit harder to link Roma players, it's not impossible to put Roma players in that three club restriction. Um, but I think it's just a little bit harder. And most people went with AC Milan and, and with Juve and maybe even the foot heroes um, using the captains like Cordoba or the shapeshifters like the Gomez card or the Cordoba shapeshifters as well. So I think that's why you saw some of those other Serie A cards go down in price, especially your midfielders. But the whole rest of the market is down in general. I mean, a good example of a card that's down really bad is I'm trying to find Pedri. I might just search him really fast because this Pedri card, of course, it was up in price after the Ferran Torres was released, right? Ferran Torres drops, Pedri goes up. Pedri yesterday is 360,000 coins. He goes all the way to 230. Bounces back up to 260, 250 where he is now. But a huge price drop on a Pedri card like this. And honestly, just for so many other cards on the market. Marcelo was over 400. He's now 360,000 coins. Mane's 540. Marquinhos dropped off like a rock yesterday as people sold off their Brazilian teams and just changed up everything to fit in Barella, to fit in, you know, just the where the demand is right now with the Serie A squad building with all the cards that are out. I even failed to mention Tammy Abraham and Vera 2. I mean, I think Vera 2 is a bit underwhelming. I think he's just kind of an average card. He's not bad. He's medium, medium work rates, five-star weak foot, four-star skills, decent card, nothing super duper insane. But I think most people, if you're doing the dynamic objective, are after Tammy Abraham. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot, high medium work rates, really good card, really jammy, if you will, right? That kind of card in the game, really good card. So make sure you go and ha actually have some fun doing that objective because that objective is in the no rules game mode, if I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, dynamic duo, yeah, I'm pretty sure if you go in to the Serie A challenge, it is in the no rules game mode. So there's no cards, no offsides, 
it's it's kind of crazy or no fouls and no offsides so it's kind of fun to go and get those cards it's not super crazy but especially if you can get somebody to help out with 15 goals or whatever it does help out a ton in that regard so i even traded and made some coins yesterday we opened a bunch of packs we watched a lot of prices on the market it was a fun day um and i think a lot of people the focus right now in this game is a playing foot champs B, getting the Serie A Cup games done, and C, just trying to get fodder. And, and that's the biggest question in, right now that I get and that I feel. And I even feel it myself, right? How do I get fodder on this game? And I think today, if they release the 82 plus player pick, that's going to be one of the best ways to do it. And you're going to be able to do it for so much cheaper if you buy some of these gold rares and stock them in your club. Just go through the leagues, honestly. Go through the top five leagues, go through some of the off top five leagues go through nations whatever you want to do just stock your club with gold rares it's going to put you so far ahead later on this week when you have a bunch of gold rares that you bought for like 700 coins instead of them being you know 1.2k 1.4k maybe even on some days as people are going out and doing upgrade player picks and stuff like that so it's going to be a fun day on fifa still because there's just so much content out there and good luck grinding your uh syria game modes Good luck grinding all that stuff. Here's here's the reason why I think the 75 times five actually could come back today. The 60 to 64 times five and the 71 to 74 triple upgrade are here for nine more days. So if EA is gonna allow us to continue that sort of menu craft that we had last week with the bronzes to silvers to golds, these are out for nine more days. That would make me think that the 75 plus times five should also be coming back so that we can have that trifecta of SBCs to be rinsing and crafting and everything through. So watch out for that today, along with the 86 plus player pick again. Oh, I didn't even mention uh, Zapata. We know our second winner. Um, so we had the Nicola Borella SBC yesterday. Fantastic card. We have the Jonathan David leaked. This should be our SBC on Sunday. Hoodies. Zapata and he will be five star five star just like Zapata um, just like Barella is so that'll be a nice card as well probably not be as hype uh, since we will already have a Jonathan David released as a striker we will already have the Tammy Abraham released you know this is a nice card and of course we still have our fingers crossed for that footy Zlatan EA Sports everybody would go crazy in this game for a footy Zlatan I'm gonna say it every day this week until you drop it okay EA I hope you're listening footy Zlatan injected but anyways that should be our content for today on Saturday. It should be another fun day. I'm probably going to try to do the 90 plus times seven again, because why not? And 82 plus player picks. We need to hammer those this week so that we can continue to do all the other SBCs that do get released on this game. Again, be very careful with your fodder. Don't spend too much. There's still a lot of great content to come. And if you don't have a lot of coins, it is very smart to be picky with what SBCs you're doing at the moment in this game and to be uh, responsible with your foot coins, even though it is basically August, just because there's so much content out there, but there's still so much yet to come as well. So that's kind of it for today's video. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. Have a great weekend. Good luck with your champs and just have a good weekend. Touch some grass. It's good for you. It's been Nathan Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.